Hey everyone, Rowan here and in today's video we're going to be doing something a little bit different as we're going to be checking out how you can set up and live stream using the Logitech Mevos. We're going to be using the Mevos and some other equipment to basically set up a streaming setup as if we were going to go live on a radio station or podcast. But that doesn't mean you couldn't use this for other things like uh, gaming on Twitch or even using it for conference calls. In no time at all we'll get you on air gaming, podcasting and zoomies. Zoomers, zoom, zooming? doing stuff on Zoom. Anyway, let's get to it. This video is sponsored by Logitech, who kindly sent us the Mevo cameras and other Logitech hardware used during this video. Check out the links in the description to get the Mevo for yourself. So the setup we're going for today is going to be pretty basic. All we've got is free Mevo cameras, and then we also have free SD cards, which go into the back of each camera, which is good for in case you have any internet connections, uh, connection issues as these are used for backups. Then we also have uh, free stands. We have a table stand here and two tripods. These unfortunately don't come with the multi-pack so you will have to buy them separately. Uh, and then we have two lights over here. These are colorful lights we'll be using for the backdrop. And then we have two key lights at the back which we'll be using to light myself or if we had another presenter, we'd light them as well. So the first thing you wanna do is head to the App Store on Apple or head to the Google Play Store on Android, and you simply want to search for Mevo Multicam. And it's this one here, you just want to click on that, hit download. Once that's downloaded, you want to hit get started, uh, read that and click next. Okay, and then we want to get our Mevos and we want to switch them on. So to switch on a Mevo, super easy. All you want to do is head to the back of the device, find the power button here, hold it down for a little bit until the lights come on, you hear a little noise and there you go, switched on and it's ready to go into pairing mode. Now back on the device you should now see that one of the cameras has appeared. This one's called the side camera as we've used this before uh, to film a side shot. So all you want to do is hit connect and there we go, it's that easy. Then you just hit continue and there you go, you've got your camera feed all set up, you can click through this and you're ready to go. Uh, so this area might look quite familiar to you. This is the setup we usually use for our videos or our webinars. Uh, and for this setup we're going to show you now, it's kind of as if we're making our own radio station live stream. Uh, so we've set up a, a blue mic here and some headphones stuff. This just give you an idea of what it might look like if it was a radio station, but they're not plugged in. Um, it's just to give you an idea. So the first thing we want to do is we want to head over to our equipment and we're going to grab one of these stands uh, and we're going to set it up where we'd like our first camera to go. Uh, so the first camera we're going to place is going to give us sort of wide of the whole shot. So we're going to put it straight on. Um, so we'll just grab off of Mevo and it's really easy. You just twist it in. So the second shot uh, I'm going to put on the side of the presenter. Uh, and this gives a little bit of like a behind the scenes look. Uh, you see a lot of radio stations do this. Uh, it's just to sort of spice it up really, because if you're just looking at the same sort of shot for the whole thing, it can look a little bit boring. And lastly, I'm going to set up uh, one on the table stand here uh, to give a little look at what's going on on my laptop screen, which is great to give another sort of behind the scenes look at what you might be doing. So if you're DJing, for example, and you'd like people to see what you're playing next, it's a great way to do that. So now you're all set up, the first thing you want to do is sit where you think you're going to be sat and then go on the app and take a look at what each camera is seeing. So if I go onto the front camera here, I can see that it's a little bit off center, a little bit tilted slightly. So I'll go and change that in a second. Uh, and then the side as well, I could probably zoom in a little bit here. And the desk is looking okay, so I'll leave that how it is. So on the side camera, first of all, we're just gonna go in and do some image adjustments. Uh, here we could maybe change it if the lighting's looking a bit bad straight away, or we could crop and zoom. So if I just go on here, and I maybe wanna zoom over here a little bit, there we go, that's looking much better already. So let's go and sort the rest of the cameras and then we'll carry on with lighting. Uh, so next I'm gonna grab a key light uh, and I'm just gonna place that on probably about here, uh, just to make sure that I'm gonna be fully lit from this side. So we just switch that on and then we'll just change that a little bit. And then we'll just get another one set up. There we go, it's looking much better already. So we usually use these, uh, just add a bit of color to the backdrop. Um, so I'll go plug these in. They never fail to blind me every single time. That's not done very well. 
Oh no, <laughs> it's all falling apart. So next let's talk about audio. So the first and probably the easiest method of recording audio on the Mevos is actually using the inbuilt mics. Uh, these are on by default, so don't worry about switching that on. Uh, but if you would like to adjust them, if you just head on into the app and click on the audio tab, uh, you can see they're all going now, they're all going crazy. Um, but if you think that maybe one's a bit too close, like the desk one's very close to me now and it's hitting the reds, uh, we can just turn that down um, so it's not too loud. So it is possible to use more powerful microphones with the Mevos. Uh, each one comes with a 3.5 millimeter uh, microphone jack on the back. Um, and if you'd like to use a, a mixer alongside them, you could also use a more powerful microphone here, like the blue mic we have set up. Um, and that would just be a case of syncing it up afterwards. So you wouldn't be able to use that live unless you were using something like OBS. Uh, but all of this is there for you if you need it. So we have a video set up, we have the sound going, we have our lighting making it all look a bit nicer, but it's still looking a bit plain. So maybe we should go ahead and add some graphics. Uh, so after clicking on plus in the corner, you'll see a little section called graphics. You just want to click on that and you'll see full screen overlay, lower third, over the shoulder, and also a corner bug. And it's really easy to add either of these. You just click on there, you add your text, blah, 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 and there you go. You can just wipe that on straight away. So in true Blue Peter fashion, here's one I made earlier, or here's a few I made earlier, I should say. Uh, we have a lower third down here. Uh, we have a corner bug, uh, and then we have a screen overlay here. Uh, and these can be added while you're recording, while you're streaming, or before and after. It's completely up to you. Um, like I say, you can literally use the app while you're doing anything. So it's really easy to do. So for the radio show we're creating today, I think I'll probably have a lower third in the corner with my name on. Uh, and then maybe some advertising at the top there in the corner uh, in case we're being sponsored. Finally, if you click the three dots in the corner, you'll see uh, at the top it says transition type. You can use this to add different transitions when you're cutting between each camera. So currently we've just got a straight cut, so it's just gonna cut between each one, but we could add a crossfade, a slide, various different transitions, uh, and you can also change how long they last for as well. So if you want a crossfade, but you don't want it to linger for too long, you can change that if you'd like. These also work well with uh, the graphics. So say if you need to go urgently off air because someone needs a Wii, you can use a fade to a, a screen overlay that just says we'll be back in a second, and it's super easy. Also in the menu, there is an option for auto director. Uh, if you click on this, uh, you'll see all of your cameras and you'll also see um, a set time at the bottom. So basically what this does is you can set a time of like three seconds uh, and then the auto direct will know to cut between each camera um, every three seconds. So if you, you want to keep the variety up a little bit, it's a great way of doing that. Unfortunately, there's no um, option to detect voices. Um, so it can't like detect who's speaking on each camera and switch between them. Uh, but it's still very handy if you'd like to use that. Right, so now all that's out of the way, let's get streaming. And here we go. This is it, this is what it looks like. So if I grab my phone now, I can see all three different views and I can click between them. See that lovely transition there, that looked nice. If you'd like to see a live stream in full swing though, we are actually planning a live webinar at the end of the month where you can see these cameras in action again for a much longer period of time. If you'd like to watch that video, make sure you hit subscribe, hit the notification bell to know when it comes out, and you might as well leave a comment to say how excited you are as well, because why not? So the Logitech Mevos are available to buy now. We've added links in the description, like I said earlier, so you can go ahead and buy one if you'd like. I hope this video was helpful in some way. Uh, if you have any more questions, don't be scared to um, ask them in the comments, and I'll try and get back to you as soon as I can. But until next time, thank you very much for watching, and happy broadcasting. And just before you go, how would you like to launch your very own online radio station? Surprisingly, it's a lot simpler than you may think. And the absolute best way to get started is by chatting to myself or another member of the Radio.co team. To do that, just head to radio.co forward slash demo to schedule a video call with us, where we'll discuss your plans, answer your questions, and of course, guide you around the Radio.co software.